there will for a chicken picker like you so come on in to Mike's music method how's everyone doing today doing something a little bit different I'm doing a Bill Withers song called use me everyone knows this song I thought I didn't know it and then I heard the opening riff I was like everybody knows this song so it is not a folk song it is not a Travis pick song but I got a request from Josh Matthews thank you Josh if you guys go to Mike's music method.com there's a sponsor a song tab and um Help guide the channel. Um, cough up a few bucks to um, push me in the direction. I've got so many songs I could do, but if you guys chip in, it helps gear and guide the channel. And so consider doing that. More on that later. But we have Bill Withers. I didn't know, Josh didn't give me instructions here, so I wasn't sure what he wanted. But what I'm doing is I just kind of did a Travis picked arrangement because the guitar to the original song is super easy. He's just strumming an E minor to an A. It's a whole song. But I do a really cool kind of Travis pick thing that's pretty darn tricky to get it to speed. It's a fast song, so it's very difficult to get to speed. I think you guys will learn a lot learning this one because it's not, again, I, I made it a Travis picking arrangement, but because it's not a simple melody or really designed for the guitar, uh, the fingering might trip you up. But without further ado, thank you, Josh. Let's get to it. So measure one. He's playing an E minor chord on the guitar. Again, the, the main version is just an E minor to an A. And he's just playing around with strumming it a little bit different. So we're gonna do our E minor here. Check this out, our thumb pattern is gonna be six. Uh, so I'm doing that E minor bar chord, so it's just nothing here, or open. Seven, nine, nine, eight, seven, just that A minor shape bar chord. My thumb is going from the 6th to the 4th, 5th to the 4th. So we got, if you're looking at the tab, we got open, 9, 7, 9. And if that's a tricky pattern for you, you're going to have to sit on this for a week and really get used to it. Beginning of the measure, we're going to take this really slow. I'm hammering. Uh, my pinky's going up. I'm playing 6 and 3. I'm using my pointer finger and my thumb. my pinky so that seven becomes a nine so I'm pinching six and three with a hammer then the second beat I'm doing my thumb on the fourth string and my middle finger on the second string so pinch and hammer and then I'm hitting four and two with thumb and middle third beat of the measure is the fifth string and the third I'm doing thumb and middle so from the top Pinching the f uh, four and three with my thumb and pointer, but my pinky goes up. And then immediately my middle finger is hitting the second string. So if we do that entire measure really slow, three, four. Remember to lift that pinky at the end. One more time, three. Four. Measure two, we're still on the same chord, but some different melodic stuff happening here. We've got sixth string open to the third string with my pointer finger, then thumb on the fourth. Then I lift the pinky and play the third string again with my pointer. So it's thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer, but I'm lifting the pinky. second half of the measure I'm pinching five and two thumb and middle and then I'm gonna pinch thumb and pointer four and three at the end and there my pinky is back down again so that ending is just that's it so the whole measure
let's put one and two together before we do three and four. But th this is, you kind of got it. This is basically the whole song here. So three, four. Measure three, we're on an A chord. And I, I made this really simple instead of doing the big old bar chord. Because it's an A, you can utilize open A on the fifth string. Then I've got seven, six, five, straight underneath that fifth string. So the fourth string is the seventh fret, G string has a six, B string has the five. And our thumb pattern is five, four, six, four. So when you get that down, the first beat is pinching five and three, thumb and pointer. Second beat, I'm pinching four and two, and it's thumb and middle. So to do that is, then the thumb alone, thumb alone. So pinch, pinch, and that's six, four. And then we just end, measure four the same way. Five, four, six, four, with a thumb. Good news is that measure five is exactly the same as measure one. That hammer on on the E minor. Measure six is going to be different than two, so let's play through it slow. Really similar though. We've got six, three, four, three again, lift the pinky, so that's the same so far. Even this is the same. Then we're gonna pinch five and two. And then here's where it's different. Right away, I'm putting my pinky down on that third string to play the ninth fret there. Speed. So five and two, three alone with the pinky down, then pinch four and three. Now, when you get this song fast, it's going to be very hard to do that nine to seven, those two last notes on the third string, all with the pointer finger. You can do it, but it's hard. I I don't know what I'd recommend. I would maybe, after you're playing that, um, that with the pointer, I'm alternating and then pinching those la that last note with my thumb and middle. So it looks like this, pointer on three, and then it's thumb and middle. So I'm alternating these two, pointers alone, and then it's thumb and middle. Right, that way you can get it quicker, as opposed to doing, and having to do it all with, the, all with the pointer finger. Right, pinch, pointer, pinch, pointer, pinch, pointer. That's a lot of work, where here I'm doing pinch, then the middle finger. So a very, it's a pretty difficult technique thing if you're not used to it. You're really gonna have to isolate that and practice that alone. So don't jump that step. I mean, no joke, that might be a week of you just like practicing some kind of thumb, like just drone the thumb or go back and forth on any chord while you're going back and forth on one string between the pointer and the middle. Because most of the time, unless you're doing Doc Watson stuff, these fingers are always on adjacent strings, but to play them on the same string back to back may be a bit tricky for you. So make note of that and practice that before moving on. So if you got that idea down, let's do measure six nice and slow again. Three, four. And practice it slow with that alternating in there. to make you a much better player and you'll be more capable of, of playing difficult songs. Whew. Measure seven looks the same as three, where we got that A chord. And then the last measure is a little different here. I'm playing the fifth string open, but I'm reaching my pointer finger to get to the fourth fret here. Now, if that feels awkward, it probably has to do with your thumb. Don't overlook your thumb. So on a chord like this, for me to reach that, um, my thumb is probably behind my, behind the fifth fret, I'd say. Um, Cause if you have your thumb up high, it's gonna be real hard to get that stretch. So make sure your thumb is low and your posture is correct, right? It probably should be sitting like this um, so that that finger is actually reaching the fourth fret there, if that makes sense. So I got thumb alone and then I'm reaching the pointer finger to get the fourth fret of the third string. And then you're sliding that four to five right when we slide it there's a compound movement there where I'm doing thumb on fifth hitting the fourth with my pointer sliding to the fifth right when I slide to fifth 
At the same time, my thumb is hitting the fourth string. So I have this sound with just the, just the pointer, but then right when I slide, I'm hitting the fourth string as well. So if that's awkward, practice that a bunch. So. And then immediately after that, once you get used to that, then I'm using my middle finger to get the sixth fret on the third string. Thumb on six, thumb on four. Bew. Donation pitch to all my sponsors and patrons and everyone who is pitching in via PayPal or, or Venmo or snail mailing me. Thank you so much. You guys encourage me and excite me and keep this channel going. For those of you who aren't donating, please consider. It's called the value for value model. I'm putting my value into this, my time, my talent, my energy to give you what I think are some of the best and most accurate tabs on the internet for all these great folk songs. And um, I'm, you get the tab for free. There's no paywall for anybody. None of my stuff is behind a paywall. It never will be. That's my promise to you. And so that's what I'm doing. I, I'm, I'm giving you good tabs and awesome videos, measure by measure breakdowns for anyone out there who wants to learn if they're hard on times they can still access this content. But for those of you who are getting value and have the means, consider the value for value model. What are these videos worth to you? What are they worth for the world? And, and consider giving me some of that so I can pour more time into these videos and continue to make them. I would love this to be my day job. Maybe that's wishful thinking, but I don't think so. Even if, you know, a small percentage of my subs gave, I could do that and I could really start cranking out more videos. I would love to do that. So just consider the value for value model. That's it. Onward with the song. <sighs> All right, let's give it some attitude. This one's cooler. Boom, 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 boom. But if it's really staccato, meaning the notes are short and cut off. Uh, so we are gonna practice that. And that's all gonna do with your left hand. So if I play a chord, the moment I'm done playing it, I'm releasing that pressure in my left hand here. What I'm not doing is like flailing off of the strings, pressure, let go of the pressure. But I'm never releasing my fingers. You know, you can see me. They're still touching the frets. I'm hardly lifting my hand up at all. Just squeezing, releasing the pressure. practice that and we're gonna have to do that in between all these little finger picking things which is gonna fry your brain so make sure you can just kind of play the song at a decent pace um, legato before you get into this next step here which is this so almost in between all of those boo do squeeze squeeze do da. I'm actually just like pulsing that squeeze on the beats, right? Da da bum 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 bum. So I'm kind of do actually doing it in rhythm. I mean, maybe there's white one variation at the beginning that's different. The hammer on. the idea to give it that really staccato feel and of course my my right hand is palm muting I'm not letting it ring open but it's all fairly palm muted and that's it if you guys want more of this song let me know but I feel like this is kind of the main part where it sounds pretty cool doing it solo guitar there's a lot going on it's way different than a towns or a folk piece but I was excited to bring it to you and I normally wouldn't have brought it to you but because of Josh's excellent um, donation and him sponsoring the song, I was able to bring it to you guys. So let me know what you thought of this lesson. If you know it's a cool thing to jam on, if you find it much harder than the other stuff, just let me know, comment below, mikesmusicmethod.com, go to the uh, sponsoring a song tab. If there's a song you wanna learn and you want other people to learn and you want a great version to be on the internet, help bring that to life by, by buying me time, give me some money, 
so that I don't have to go to work and spend you know a bunch of hours getting a great tab so I can give it to the world for free, no paywall, unbelievable. All right, let's do some slow run-throughs though and we'll call it a day. Slow runs. I'm, can you guys hear all the, <laughs> it's movie night at the house. I made the popcorn and look at me. I'm so just generous to you guys that instead of relaxing with my family watching the movie, I'm putting in the time to bring you Bill Withers. All right, so real slow run from the top. Hope you can see all my fingers okay here. Two, three, four. Feels slow when there's no melody, but it's fast. still too fast you can go to little gear icon slow down the speed on YouTube if it's too slow you can even speed it up if you hit the custom setting you can do it by like a tenth of a percentage point um, uh, fast or slow all right later guys be well do good peace